All right, guys, now that you have the Homebrew channel installed onto your Wii, um, grab your SD card, put it back in your computer right now so you have it up because we're going to install one more thing. Um, it's actually so you can run on like the features of the Homebrew channel, like USB or GX to play game games, Wii games, SNES games, whatever you want to play. There's many apps for it, but you need these custom iOSs, CIOSs, to be able to recognize the USB USBs you like plug into your Wii, um, USBs being external hard drive or you know flash drive or whatever you want. So go to Google, <coughs> uh, type in CIOS V10. Um, it'll oops, it'll actually uh, autofill it for you, maybe for you. It autofills it for me, so I don't know. Anyway, type that in. You're gonna go to this CIOS Wii guide. Um, I'll put the uh, link in the description too, so check it out. Go here, <coughs> excuse me, click on this. It's gonna dial in the bottom left corner. Let that download. Um, takes like two seconds. So these are the instructions right here. Don't look at these yet because this is something you're gonna do on your Wii. So go down to here, the folder install, click on it. As you can see, there's an apps folder. You don't need to click on it. Just, uh, I'm just showing you what's inside it. Is uh, you know, the boot.dol, which is the program. Anyway, you got the apps folder, right? Copy. And I'm going to plug my SD card in. Look at me, I'm unprepared. Plug your SD card in, if you already haven't. And here's the uh, letter bomb stuff we were doing before. <coughs> Excuse me. You can actually uh, leave the letter bomb stuff in there. Just copy and paste this folder right to the uh, root of your SD card, and there it goes. There's apps right there. All right, now that you have that, I'll see you over at the Wii. All right, guys, we're back out over here at our Wii. Grab your SD card, which now has that lovely uh, DX2 CIOS installer on it. Plug that bad boy in there. All right, it's recognized. Grab your Wii mote. <coughs> Click on Homebrew Channel. I love this little song they have. Shit. <laughs> oh, you can see my reflection. What up? Alright. The only app installed. Click on it. Load that bad boy up. So, this part, you could actually break your Wii, uh, technically, because you're, you know, if you, if you click on one of the wrong um, iOSs and overwrite it, it could be a bad thing. So you're going to go to select COS, click on this one right here, whoops, the beta 52, not the beta 53, the beta 52, the last one. Go down to base and select the base uh, 56. So that's 56, slot's going to be 249, and the revision is going to be uh, the 65535. Uh, I'm just making sure I got everything right. I don't want to break my Wii U. So, all right. So double check, triple check. 52, base 56, slot 249, 65535. Click A. Don't do anything here. Click A again, because this is where it gets a little weird. And you have to be connected to the internet. So make sure you're connected to the internet or else you cannot install these. Um, if you can't connect to the internet for some reason, then you can install them like manually, but you have to do it a different way. Um, and download like the packs themselves, um, so they're on your SD card. You can do, you can check out that, that guide. Um, I'll put it in the description at the very bottom. Saying if you don't have internet, follow this guide instead. So, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> allergies are killing me. So let this install. Okay, now that, that that first one's done installing, just click A and bring it back here again. Now we're going we're to do this two more times. Make sure the top is the Beta 52 V10. But this time, make sure the base is 57 and make sure the CIOS slot is 250. Um, and then this revision will always stay the same at 65535. So remember, 57, 250, 65535. Click A and click A again. <clears throat> and let, them, let these install once more. Take a couple minutes. All right, now that's done. Click A. And the last, third and last one, remember 52, beta 52. SIOS base 58, SIOS slot 251, SIOS revision 65535, A, A again, boom, wait for this to finish, 
and we're good. All right, and click A again, and that's it. You don't have to do any more of these. Just hit B on the back of the Wii boat, or actually, sorry, uh, yeah, it's B. I thought it was Z at first. And go back to your uh, system menu, and um, that's it. You should have the custom iOS is installed, and now you can, um, you know, run any Wii emulators and stuff like that. So check out my next video and other videos to see how you can utilize this newly hacked Wii. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye.